Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about text analytics actions which are available under Microsoft Cognitive Actions in Power Automate Desktop. And also we have learned how to create text analytics API using Azure Cognitive Services. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Microsoft Test Analytics Action, that is Sentiment Action. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. This Sentiment Action invokes Microsoft Cognitive Service named Test Analytics Sentiment. By using this action, we can find what people think of their brand or topic by mining the text for clues about positive or negative sentiment. This feature provides sentiment labels such as negative, neutral, and positive based on the highest confidence score founded by the service at a sentence and document level. This action also returns confidence score between 0 and 1 for each document and sentence within it for positive, neutral, and negative sentence. Now, first of all, we will see the input parameters for sentiment action. The first parameter is server location. Where we can find this server location? In our previous tutorial, we have created an API with the name of Power Automate Desktop Hyphen Text Analytics API. There you can see I'm having keys and endpoint. Click on that. There you can find key one and key two. These are the subscription keys which we need to provide. After that, the server location or the location or reason you can find it, we have given it as East US, right? Now, over here, the server location, I'm going to give it as East US. And the second parameter is the subscription key. The subscription key, which we have generated as part of the Power Automate Desktop Test Analytics API. This is the API which we have. There you can see key one and key two. I have copied one of the key over here. And then I'm going to give the same subscription key over here in the input parameter that is subscription key. All right. Now I have given the input parameters. Now I need to know the sentiment about the text. I need to provide some sentence or document. I need to provide as an input over here in the text input parameter. I'm going to give it as product is great. I'm just going to give it the text over here in such a way. I'm going to give it product is great. I need to analyze the sentiment for this text. Is it negative or neutral or positive based on the given text in the particular action? All right. Now we are having the languages. Which language we have given it up based on that we'll give the language over here. By default, it is in English. All right. Now, if you go for the advanced that we are having the timeout where we are having the connectivity time between the Power Automate desktop and the Microsoft Cognitive Services. The default timeout is 30 seconds. If it is unable to connect within these 30 seconds to the Cognitive Service, in that case, it will come as timeout error. All right. Now we'll see the output variables. One, we have JSON response. Another one is the status code. JSON stands for the JavaScript Object Notation, is a standard text-based format for representing structured data on the JavaScript object syntax. All right. And if you see the status code, we are having 200 and 400, 200 for successfully processing the request, whereas 400 is a bad request response, which indicates that the server cannot or will not process the request. The JSON response will return the confidence score between 0 and 1. If the score is near to 1, in that case, the sentence is positive. If the score is near to 0, in that case, the sentence is negative. If the score is close to 0 0.5, in that case, it is neutral. All right. Right now, we have given the text as product is great. Now we will see what is the confidence score that we have for this text. All right. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the flow has executed successfully. Now, if you observe the JSON response, I'm having documents. 
inside that i'm having id underscore if you see the score right now i'm having 0.961 which is very close to one in a such a way that the sentence is positive sentiment all right now to make you understand i'm going to make the changes over here i'm going to use display message let me drag and drop this display message onto the workspace i'm going to give message box title as output and the message to display i want to display the score where is that value there in the json response there the documents inside that i'm having n number of records i'm having zero records right now and the score i'm going to display over here in the message box all right let me click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output now if you see the output i got the output as 0.961 which is very close to 1 so in a such a way whatever the text i have given or whatever the sentence i have given it is positive sentence right now i will give you one more thing over here the product is bad i will make the change the text over here as the product is bad so by looking into this sentence that we can easily know this is the negative sentence so what is the output that we need to get it it is very close to zero right it has to get it very close to zero right let me click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and there you can see the output over here 0 0.09 it is very close to zero right so what is mean of this score the sentiment is negative all right i hope you understand how to work with sentiment action which is available under microsoft test analytics before that i will show you one thing over here in our previous tutorial we have worked with google actions also if you see under google cognitive actions there we are having analyze sentiment also this analyze sentiment also will give the same kind of output but the difference is that the values or the score will be in a such a way negative values that is less than zero for negative sentiment if it is a positive sentiment in that case the value is greater than zero if the sentence is neutral then in that case it will give the value as zero this is all about the google analyze sentiment action all right i'm going to implement the same thing over here all right i have made few changes in my flow whatever the output that we are going to get it from the sentiment that is score we are going to store in the score as number variable that is after converting the text into the number i'm going to store the value in score as number variable all right based on this score as number i'm going to get the status like in such a way is it positive sentiment or negative sentiment or neutral sentiment the score will lies in between 0 to 1 if the score is greater than 0 and it is very close to 0 0.25 that is less than 0 0.25 in that case i'm going to display it as negative sentiment if the score is greater than 0 0.75 and less than 1 in that case we are going to make it as positive sentiment if the score is lies between 0 0.25 that is greater than 0 0.25 and less than 0 0.75 i'm going to make it as neutral sentiment but one thing we need to observe the condition is ranges in between two values in a such a way the score if you see i'm having greater than 0 0.25 and less than 0 0.75 this is in between the values right how we have mentioned that one over here if you see between the percentages i have given the condition over here you can see score as number greater than 0 0.25 or greater than or equal to also you can give it at the same time you are going to use the operator and operator and there you can see score is less than 0 0.75 you are going to give these two values in between the percentages and then you can see the operator i'm going to give it equal to and the second operator i'm going to make it as true in a such a way if the above condition is true then only it will goes inside the if condition and then it will displace the values all right now if you see i'm going to give this text as product is great 
based on this that we can easily understand that is positive sentiment right now let's go ahead let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and there if you see i got the output as 0.961 is the score from this sentiment action all right let's click on okay now if you see i got 0.96 so that it is greater than 0.75 and less than one value, right? So that it is positive sentiment. We got the status as positive sentiment. All right, let's click on OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this small change in the text. I'm going to give the product is bad. OK, and then let me click on save. Now based on this text, we need to get the status as negative sentiment. All right, we'll see that by running the flow. And we got the output as 0.09, which is less than the score number that is 0.25, right? Which is very close to zero. Let's click on OK. Now, if you see, I got the status as negative sentiment. All right, let's click on OK. Based on the given text or document, we can easily analyze the text and we can give the sentiment in a such a way the given text is positive or negative or neutral based on sentiment action which is available under microsoft text analytics actions thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day